Well, take a moment and open up the sample drawing 01-02 object snap tracking and follow along. Now, this is an exercise that I think will help you kind of tie some of the features that we're wanting to highlight. Now, keep in mind, we could have done this faster multiple ways. But again, we don't always get to use some of these tools. So I want to use this as a time to expose you some, to some tools that perhaps you don't think about often when you have to draw lines or you need to create profiles. Now we've already got the three modes turned on. We have one extra mode here, right in here. Notice this is the show hide line weight. So that way then we can actually see a thickness. If you click on the home tab, notice that we are drawing right on top of the layer called front view. So make sure that whenever you start to draw that you are currently uh, already set properly where you need to be. Now let's go ahead and give you a couple of details. Let's say we wanted to begin the, this particular profile that we have. This is a plan view. What if we needed to draw a side view or a front view? How quickly can we do it? And how can we use some of the features such as the object snap tracking and the polar tracking, these two features that we have turned on? Well, let's come up here to the home tab and we'll try it out. Now we could just immediately start drawing lines here. But I want to take this occasion to kind of remind you that whenever you can, you can use something like construction lines. Let's go ahead and try this out really quick. First thing it's going to ask us is to specify a point. And before I do that, I'm going to type in H for horizontal. So I know at this point that I just have to locate where I want my horizontal line to, to be. Now, let's go ahead and put it precisely at one spot that we need. Let's say we want to lock it in to a Y distance, absolute Y at one inch. So go ahead and type in 0, 1 and press the Enter key. And notice that it just now drew that particular line. If I move my mouse straight up, let's say that we want to put this as a thickness of half an inch. So now type in 0, 1.5 and press the Enter key. So remember, whenever you're typing in absolute uh, coordinate values, you simply type in the numbers you need, keeping in mind that everything is measured from the 0, 0. So now we've got our half inch line. You can press the Escape button. Now let's go ahead and draw a small little line segment using the existing points to line up. Come up to the Home tab, click on Line. Now hover right on top of the quadrant. When you see the quadrant uh, little tooltip show, show up, you know you've hovered long enough. Come straight down and notice that AutoCAD will stop right on top of the intersection. When it does, you see the green X, click it one time, and then move your mouse straight down. We want it to intersect nice and straight. So sometimes you have to pass it up, let the polar tracking help you, and then you move it straight up till you find the intersection, click it, and then you can hit the right mouse button, or you can click on the escape button to end. Now we could keep putting in more lines, drawing it in this fashion here. But let's just show you how quickly we can also use some other tools as well. So for instance, if I wanted to make sure that uh, I'm just going to copy this line, let's come here to the Home uh, tab, and we'll click on Copy. When it asks me to select an object, I'll select this line, right click because there's nothing else to select, and I'm going to say I want to line it up maybe from this endpoint. Now, how do we line up a copy? So it's going to take some of these other points here. Well, watch how simple it is. Let's say that we want to go through this quadrant point, this inner circle. Hesitate long enough, move your mouse straight up until you see it intersect properly, then you can click it, and then you can continue doing the same copies. Can you see how quickly? we can align these things using the copy command and now we're going to come up here to this endpoint. Hesitate long enough, bring it straight down and now you can wait until it finds the apparent intersection, click it one time and now you can press the escape. Now wasn't that fast. Next thing we want to do is quickly come to the home tab and we're going to come up to the trim. We want to be able to cut these, these infinite lines here so we're going to say I want these two edges as my cutting blades Press the right mouse button because there's nothing else to select. And then we can select the objects we want to get rid of, which in this case are the extended infinite construction lines. And when you're ready, you press Escape. And there we've got the beginnings of this profile. 